Hey buddies, Sonuts Guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. In this video, we're talking about something a little bit different. This is not an RL craft guide. This is just something that I think is going to be really, really useful for a lot of people. Uh, whether it be an RL craft specifically, or whether it be other mod packs, or whatever the case may be. But everyone has their own settings, right? I don't know about you guys, but I put my sneak to control and sprint to shift because that's like what every other game in the entire world does. I don't understand why Minecraft feels the need to be different and do it opposite from everyone else, but they do. So I always have these same. I, I mean, I, I, I have my own settings that I always change. I have shaders. You know, I have uh, I have shaders. I have specific shader settings that I go in. You know, I change all the you know, I change certain things to customize it to what I want. And then we get updates. We get an update to 2.9.1. Then we get a hotfix to 2.91.1b. Then we get a hotfix to 2.9.1c. And we end up with all these different versions. If you're playing other mod packs, different versions of Minecraft, whatever the case may be, keeping your settings the same when you uh, download or install a new version can save you some time and headache. I know it always annoys me when I download a new version. I have to go through and change everything. So I figured out how to keep your settings the same or how to transfer your settings across from one version to the next. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folders here. So we got my 2.9.1c and we got 2.9.1b. I want to transfer the settings from 2.91b to 2.91.9.1c. Gosh. <laughs> and um, I want to get change, transfer my shader options. I want to transfer everything as I can. Um, the only thing that I haven't uh, that didn't transfer when I did this was the mod config options specifically. Uh, so like when you can change the uh, the heart value, the health display value in the bottom right corner to hearts instead of the player icon, um, that didn't transfer over. I had to do that one manually, but that was pretty minor. So it's not much of a big deal. What, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click these. We're going to open the folder. So this is the one that we're transferring to, and we're going to open this folder, which is where we're transferring from. So we're transferring from the left to the right. And there we go. And what you need is you need your options folders, your options files. So you've got options.txt, which I believe is the standard Minecraft. You've got this one, which looks like it's I'm not exactly sure what that is, but uh, we've also got the shaders. So this is specifically the say, uh, settings saved for my shaders. And what we're going to do is we're literally just going to copy these over. So we're going to grab all three. We're going to hold control when we move this over so that it copies. If I let go of control, you see it says move. We don't want to move them because I might want to go back to this version at some point. So we're going to hold control and it's going to copy them over. And uh, and that's that, guys. It's really nice and easy. As uh, as mine had already been copied over, I didn't have to click anything. It just did it instantly. However, if the if I hadn't already done it, it would have said, oh, this file already exists. Would you like to replace this ver uh, this file with the new version? You want to just do yes to all, replace all the files with your new options folders, uh, files, and you should be good to go. If anyone has any questions or comes up with any issues with this or uh, or anything at all, please feel free to let me know in the comments below, of course. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I also run an RL Craft SMP server that you guys would be welcome to join. All you got to do is jump on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash some nuts guy, earn 3000 channel points, and you can unlock the whitelist through the channel point redemptions, and you'll be able to join us. Alrighty, guys, hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.